Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is ScopeSF and today we are back with some more Escape Simulator. Uh, they just recently released a Halloween themed update. I think uh, a new map, uh, I think it has something to do with the graveyard. I only kind of glanced over it um, and I have no idea what it's actually like. So in good old escape room fashion, let's dive right into it. Was it extra? Wait. 70s room. I don't remember that. I, I don't think I've even seen that announcement. Huh. Alright, well, we're here for the graveyard. Uh, but if we finish the graveyard relatively quickly, we'll see if we can tackle the 70s room. You can pin some items Alright, alright. Um... Okay, is there a way to clear the fog first and foremost? I can't see a thing. Oh, uh, the length. Oh my, I legitimately can't see anything. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no, no. Didn't want that. Didn't want that. Rip. I forgot exactly how the hint system works, and I don't like hints. Alright. Might as well try this. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Okay, well, okay, so the pattern is... Nine degree rotation. What was this thing? Nothing of value. Okay, okay, so... So from the side... Up... Down... Full circle... Up... Thirty minutes to complete this. All right. Nothing in the trash can. Okay, cool. And... Mm, easy. All right. Uh, 
Live for the candy, die for the candy. Oh, is this the bat? I think it's just lore. I'll, I'll look at it later. But so I got bat. My mouse scroll is broken. I'm sorry. Uh, cards. What's going on? They'll probably go there. And then potion goes here. I think this is a birds and oh no 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 vampires. I don't know why I thought it would have been a birds and beasts reference. Great story by the way. And then missing like one more piece. I don't want to spend too much time on this particular one. If I find it later, I find it later. What is this? Okay. The length of her life was foretold by an Eldor with many skinny hands standing lonely on a hill. So uh, outside the map. Oh, okay, okay, I see it, I see it. Um, three, eight. I don't see the last one. What am I missing? Well, this I could probably guess. So, three, eight... Well, it's three eight something, so, or yeah, and the three comes before the eight, so I could try. No, 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 no. bad. All right, so it's not that. So maybe it's three something eight. Um, what is this one? Okay, so it has to do with spiders. Oh, oh wait, I can solve this one. So, one, three, two. Um, seven, 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 six, five. Fantastic. Okay, so the goal is to free spirit. Got it. What exactly is this one? 
<laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. So, the length of her life. So, uh, 799. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, lift the candy that, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'll tackle that one in a moment. Uh, since birth he was anger... Is there, um... I'll get fast. So it's bone. I don't remember seeing a bone hat in anywhere. Does this have something to do with it? No. Did this have something to do with it? again. Full outers. Uh -huh. Okay. Eighty four. Okay, um, so, in life he learned to be happy, so, full, wait, So we got that. Um, and then anger was bone. 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 the bone. Oh. My gosh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Nine... that six two is it 
what is it, 892? Okay, cool. And then, uh, candy, 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 candy. Alright, so I know I can solve this one. Um, has to do with this shapish. Alright, so. Strike dot swirl twirl strike twirl. Okay, cool. I get that. Easy to do that. Uh, so we got. One. How many polka dots are there? Five. Five. Plus that is six. Then the swirls plus twirls. I think they're debating me, so I think it's actually four. Yeah, four swirls plus two twirls. Just another six. And then just the twirls is two. Oh, okay. Hello there. Something is definitely happening, I don't know what- oh, here, alright. Uh, four unnamed lie beneath the ground, their demise holds the key to escape forever being bound. The one that lived the longest life and the one that left- oh, I see, I see. I don't see. Um... I do see. Okay. Alright, so the one that left first should be... Now, we assu we're assuming it needs to be BC, I guess. So it's actually the longest number is first. So, hat, woman, fur. Okay, yeah, that's, that's why. Earrings. Sure, close enough. Okay. Um, uh, what do we have next? No, this thing. And the one that lived the longest life. Alright, so this is about 90 years. That is nowhere near 90 years. I'm presuming this is a six. It looks like a six. But it's not quite 90. If this is a five, this would only be about 50 years. So this person. Suave bow tie. What's this? I, I can fix it later. And then no hat. Alright, um. I don't quite know what these part, two parts mean, though. 
But it has to do with these two. At least we know that. Okay, okay, I messed up. These are these are birds that I've used, so... This one is... Third. How much time do I have? Okay. Alright, so that hair plus rose plus glasses. Okay, All right. I'm very confident that's right. Um, so then, this one actually is second. But if I'm confident that this guy was there, then... Who's the last one? Top hat, necktie, that hair. Okay, sweet. Boom. Easy game, easy life. I know I panicked at the very beginning because of the uh, <laughs> the fog not clearing up. That is legitimately what saved me. Um, being able to find that one and figure that out first, which I mean I know I know is exactly what you're supposed to do. Um, like, like, you legitimately cannot complete any of this puzzle without clearing up the fog first, but um, be being able to figure that part out as quickly as I did is literally what saved that run. So that was fun. Uh, what was my final time on that? 30 minutes minus 840. We'll round that up to 9, so that was about 21 minutes. Yeah, let's do the uh, 70s room. See if we have that much luck there. Tokens are found in the strangest places. Either that or not found at all. Alright, alright. What do we got? What do we got? Another half hour puzzle. Hmm. Alright, that's going to be important. Jenny versus Telly. Yellow beat me by 10. Very good dark puzzles. know it. Oh, 
that is. Okay, um... I think it's this, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so... Big square... No. Um, C... Okay. Okay, C... Does this just call me? Wait. Okay, yeah, literally just call me. Okay. Cool. At least we got this one. Oh, okay, these are lava lamps. Um, so... Small, or large, small, medium. Is it Did I just say five? <gasps> okay, six. Five.
three. So six, three, five. Easy. Calculator. Right. Do I still have my calculator for this? Yes, I am whipping out my TI-84 Silver Edition from high school. Batteries are dead. All right. <laughs> uh, where's my phone? All right, I'm back. Got phone. Um, Calculator, so 56 times 123, 33 what? Right? Okay, first off, where's the calculator? It was a waste of time, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, come on. I don't care about these tokens. I wanna... Is this a calculator?
Oh, I guess I just have to. Okay, okay. So three plus eight equals eleven. Uh, three times two minus four. Sixty-two. Oh, I did something. What did I do? Blue dart, what? <laughs> oh, blue had 97. So yellow had 107. Oh, how am I supposed to figure this one out? Let's, um... Blue. How do we get 97? Um, maybe the easiest way to do it is like 50. Yeah, unfortunately, my mouse scroll wall was broken, so. These are times 2, so that's 90 plus. Okay, okay. What we could do is... Three times 20 is 60. And we need to get to 107, so we need 47 more. Three times nine is thirty six, right? No, no, twenty seven. Duh. Well, twenty seven, and then I need what, twenty more? Right. Yeah, I think this works. Thirteen minutes. All right. I don't even know where to begin on that. Um. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what to do with this one. Okay, so. All right. So brown flower leads to heart. All right, so we'll call that three. There's some red herrings here. Right. 
Just one. Okay. Alright, so heart and then keys. Okay, so that's Pete. Alright, so three, one. Dove is three, one, four, two. Hmm. Nailed it. Where was there even a record player in this room? There wasn't, was there? Alright, well, let's just do this. Uh, chop is only if you like, find the pot. Cheap to expensive. Alright, so. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. So. Derp. Clever. Okay, so five, because there's five fingers up. One five one two four. Boom. First up. When to get a special prize. Okay, well. It's a good thing I'm good at video games. Console compartment opened. Ah, take it.
Alright, so we got... Honestly, I'm just kind of hope, gonna hope that the order doesn't matter. Oh, I have no idea what this is. All right, still got six minutes. Phone, cherry clock, darts, clock, darts. phone, cherry, clock, darts. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Boom! Ah, uh, man, not bad. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit more stressful. Uh, the only thing I can genuinely say is I'm so glad that recipe thing was just. A red herring. I'm so glad that had nothing to do with anything. I also need to buy a new mouse that has a functioning scroll wheel, apparently. And, um... Even though I thought the room was fair, it was pretty much fair, um, do you kind of wish there was, like, some, uh, yeah, there were those three-colored cocktail glasses on the table um very pretty decoration but i kind of wish there was a puzzle involved with them but that's all i can really say so but yeah otherwise fantastic uh seems appropriate that i'm doing a little uh, disco dance party to celebrate but uh this was fun i know i tend to get a little bit stressed at these kind of things um i tend to overanalyze things and that puts a lot of pressure on at once but there's some fun in that honestly um, escape room escape rooms definitely have a value and i'm enjoying it and i'm glad to be here for the ride but other than that Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these little extra missions. Uh going to be looking to come back to complete, uh, was it? There's the Victorian Mansion. There's the uh, Steampunk DLC. Um, then what was the other one? The Corporate Office Building. I'm gonna try and do them in order of initial release by chapter, and then DLC. So I mean, like I know I did the the graveyard in the '70s room for this episode. Um, I just did it because the graveyard was seasonal, and I didn't even see the '70s room thing. But next time I try and go through this, I expect to, uh, I, I think Victorian Mansion goes before the office building. So ideally, the order is going to be Victorian Mansion, office building, steampunk DLC, and then Wild West DLC. Um, and I'm expecting to have fun with that. At the end of the day, props to Pine, Pine Studios, the developers of this. Um, they really made something special. I, uh, not gonna get too sentimental for an outro here, but I always used to really, really enjoy escape rooms. I've only ever been to three. Uh, they were all pretty well put together. The problem is, like, I never really, I, I, I only in three instances of my life could I really ever find a group to go with. Um, 
so they, they get hard to do. And every now and again, I have an itch to actually go through an escape room, but don't really have the people to go with. Uh, so the fact that there are these beautifully, intricately, incredibly designed escape rooms that I could do solo, um, it kind of fill it does fill the void that shows up in my mind every now and again. So thank you, Pine Studio, for making such an amazing game. But yeah, other than that, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Cheers.